How's it going everybody? My name is Mr. Mushy and welcome to my first Payday 2 DLC review. Today, we are going to be looking at the Hotline Miami pack. So, to start off, this pack contains 3 guns, 5 melee weapons, 4 masks, 8 customizations, 7 achievements, and 1 2 day heist. If you own Hotline Miami the game, then you will gain an extra 1 melee, 4 masks, and 8 customizations. The three guns you will be getting are the Cobra, the Blaster 9mm, and the Uzi, which are all some machine guns. The Cobra sports a high rate of fire and high concealment while having low accuracy and damage. The Blaster 9mm comes with a high rate of fire, medium damage, lots of ammo, and high concealment while having an average accuracy and a long reload. The Uzi brings decent damage, good accuracy, decent concealment, controllable recoil, and a suppressor that doesn't reduce damage. Its only downsides are that it is unlocked at level 55, is pretty expensive at the price of 921k, and sports a low rate of fire. I will cover all of these weapons in detail in another video. Nothing new really comes with the melee weapons, although the fire axe does sport one of the highest damaging melee weapons in the game. The customization options are really enjoyable, and although I personally don't use the mask provided in this pack, they're pretty cool nonetheless. The heist puts you on a hunt for a man named the Comstar. On day one, you will be finding out where he is and have the option to cook meth before you leave on to day two. Day two takes place in a hotel area where you race across the hotel to catch the Commissar. Once you reach the top of the hotel, you will then drill the safe that the Commissar is hiding in and kill him once and for all. There are loot bags and meth lying around for you to earn some extra money too. So, do I think the Hala Miami pack is worth it? Yes, I would recommend it even for the price of $3.99, which is a bit expensive, so you should probably wait for a sale.